troubled bad boy of Oakdale, Illinois. I don't do any charity work. I'm a, a really bad human being. Jesse Soper and his character, Will Munson, have a little bit of the bad boy in them. Will's got a really dark side to him, and maybe I have a little bit of that in me. A lifetime on TV made him a showbiz pro at a young age. I realized that I wanted to be an actor when I was six years old. A few weeks after that, I got my first kick cereal commercial. But Jesse learned the hard way that there's a whole wide world beyond the camera. I had my priorities mixed up. I started not caring at all about schoolwork, and that's, it. that's actually why I ended up going to the boarding school. Jesse Soper was born in the upstate New York town of Ossining on the Hudson River. I moved around Ossining and Terrytown and then uh, moved to Connecticut. When he was just a little boy, Jesse knew what he wanted to do with his life. So he told his mom about his plan. I realized that I wanted to be an actor when I was six years old. I was watching TV and I asked her if I could be in commercials. A couple weeks later, we kind of randomly met a manager. And a few weeks after that, I got my first Kix cereal commercial. Jesse was lucky to get the gig, but his first job had a far-reaching impact on him. Kix cereal, well, we ate so much of it that I haven't eaten Kix a day in my life since. Jesse's career got off to a quick start and continued to flourish. In 1993, he co-starred with Susan Sarandon in the film Safe Passage. And that was me at like age 9 or 10. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool. It was a kind of intense movie. I played her son. And I actually learned a lot from her. She's a great actress. And to be that young and around that at that time, it's really beneficial. Then, when he was 11 years old, Jesse auditioned for the coveted role of Bobby Brady in the Brady Bunch movie. But it wasn't easy. I auditioned uh, six times and uh, went in every time. And I, I wore a really tight, like, polyester shirt. You know, I had my hair blown dry and out, like, so that it's sticking out and all puffy. <laughs> I remember thinking, look, I look like a big dork. The dork look paid off, and Jesse was cast as the youngest Brady boy in the film and its follow-up, a very Brady sequel. <laughs> In 1999, Jesse made his daytime debut on Guiding Light, where he played the role of Max Nickerson. It was kind of intense, though, because, uh, you know, with soap work, you work a lot of hours. It's always consistent, and uh, there's so much material to learn. Jesse's career was growing by leaps and bounds, but his schoolwork was suffering. I was always that, like, C student that all the teachers got really, you know, bummed out over because I, I could have done much better, but I never did. I was a freshman in high school at the time, and the workload at work was outweighing the workload at school, and I had my priorities mixed up. My grades were awful, piss poor. It was just the right time in my life to make a big decision, a big change. After just four months at Guiding Light, Jesse checked out of Springfield and into the Gunnery Boarding School in Connecticut. It was apparent that I needed a, a different direction. I had some friends that were going there, and I knew some of the faculty there already, and they really took me under their wing, and it was the best experience of my life. When Jesse graduated from high school in 2002, he had no intention of resuming his acting career. I was going to go to college, had enrolled in Drew University, and I kind of had stopped auditioning and then got a call, you know, to read for this part. The part was the role of the troubled Will Munson on As the World Turns. I definitely fit the character of Will, and they couldn't find anybody, and I got called in on the Friday before the Monday they were going to start shooting his scenes. And I was the last person they saw. And I walked out of the hall, and I got a call that I got the part. I was really excited. I was, I was like, awesome. And then I went across the street, and I got a steak. With such an amazing opportunity, Jesse had a decision to make. Do I want to go to school? Or do I want to do this? Because I, I had stopped for, for four years. And I decided that this was the right thing to do, and I could take classes here and there. Stand by. Action. Just days after his audition for As the World Turns, Jesse reported to work on the set and dug right into the role of Will Munson. Will is a little misunderstood. Uh, he used to be really edgy, really angry, a little depressed. Now he's kind of like a little heroic and a little bit whipped by Gwen. <laughs> Every day playing Will challenges Jesse to learn a little bit more about the character and about himself. What's not challenging about coming in every day and finding this different part of you or this different person that you have to connect with all the time. And despite all the hard work, life on As the World Turns is fun too. 
I have a really good relationship with a lot of the people here. Everyone's like a really big family, so it's great. Don Hastings is one of the funniest men alive. I'm always having fun at work. I don't have to wake up in the morning and go, shoot, I gotta go to work now. You know, it's, it's like, oh, I get to go play around with my friends. And, uh, and that's the greatest thing about it. Jesse likes everybody on the set, but he has a special bond with his co-star, Jennifer Landon. Jen's great. We give each other a lot of crud. It's like we're a married couple, so, you know, we bicker and we argue and we have our moments and everything, but uh, I think the product that you get on screen, uh, you can see the chemistry because we're such close friends. The world turns most popular actors, but the one-time child star keeps it all in perspective. I am pretty conservative in my everyday life. Uh, I keep to myself, I'm, I'm a quiet guy, um, unless I'm with like my closest friends and then I'm a complete clown. Acting was never a job or a, a like a real goal. There was never really a direction with it. It was just something fun. It was more of a hobby. Now it's obviously a career and something I love to do. This is, <laughs> this is great.